Now we'll add a new layer on the timeline to composite a graphical element on top of the shot. Make sure to disable the ripple end option. To add a new layer to the timeline, press the Layer Plus button. The focus point, which is the little crossbar on the positioner, is automatically moved to the top layer. The focus point determines which layer is displayed in the player. We need the logo element to have the same duration than the shot. The logo is a still frame with a mat. A way to achieve this is to cut the empty layer at the proper length. Make sure the shot is selected on the bottom layer. Press Alt-B to cut the empty segment to the selection. Now let's replace the empty segment with the logo. Select the top segment on the timeline. Expand the titling source folder. Select the Detroit logo image. Press the Replace operator located between the two players. The one frame background is stretched to fill the duration of the segment. We will use an axis effect to composite the logo on the timeline. Make sure the logo segment is selected on the top layer. Click on the axis effect button to activate it. If Auto Key is activated, disable it. We could access the Axis Editor, but we don't need to in this case. We will use the Timeline Controls instead. Make sure the Axis button is selected. Click the Math button. And with the blue cursor, select the Detroit Logo Alpha in the Source folder. This applies the mat to the logo. To reposition the logo element, set the position X value to 180 and set the position Y value to minus 425. We can add a shadow using the axis controls. Click on surface and choose shadow instead. Turn the shadow on to activate it. Add a touch of softness. Now we can process the effects. With the top layer still selected, hit Process. That also processes all the layers below it. To see the clips on the two separate layers, move the focus point up and down. Hotkeys are page up and page down. 